CNN has spoken to who they believe was a witness who has told them that it was a twin engine plane mm -hmm. that perhaps hit the, hit the World Trade Center. Uh, it's a witness report only. I want to emphasize that. That's the, uh, the story that CNN is able to help us uh, right. compile at this point. But as you can see, a very, very fresh and horrible scene as the smoke just billows from the top of a section of the Tower 1 of the World Trade Center. A 110 story building is what Tower 1 is, and you can see it's obviously on the upper upper levels of Tower, tower 1. We're trying to effort information, folks. This just happened. Again, as Michael just mentioned, CNN is quoting a witness who says that he or she saw a twin engine plane flying right into the Trade Center. Unfortunately, we do not know at this point where that twin engine plane or where that airplane, we're not sure if it's a twin engine, 737, may have originated from, where it was heading, which of our three airports. Uh, obviously, this is going to affect airport traffic as well, as uh, the entire city comes to a standstill right now as we look live at an apparent plane that has crashed into the World Trade Center. We're giving you every possible angle that we can come up with as we have fixed cameras all across the city taking a live look. We're looking at it along with you for the very first time, the heavy black smoke pouring from the top of this building. Reports now that a plane of some type has impacted the World Trade Center. Crews always on the way, working as hard as we can now uh, to get you more information. All right, we're jotting down notes as we get them. Do we have that person ready? Okay. Um, we're efforting, folks, what I'm talking to my producers as well, is trying to get uh, information as we're efforting information. We're trying to reach witnesses who may be there live at the scene and able to give us a first-hand account. Uh, witnesses, we do understand from the Associated Press, reported hearing a huge explosion. Uh, also, more eyewitnesses saying they saw a small commuter plane crash into the building. So we're getting two accounts there, Michael, from witnesses, according to the Associated Press, who saw a small plane. So perhaps that's indeed what it was. It doesn't matter. The extensive damage has been done. Uh, I'm not sure, again, of any injuries, albeit there have got to be several, obviously, from looking at this. Mm -hmm. um, we're trying to get that again. Marcella Palmer on her way. Um, talked with her by cell phone. Unfortunately, her cell phone uh, got disconnected. Go ahead. We're just saying that uh, we're now getting reports from the Associated Press uh, that witnesses reported hearing uh, and seeing that huge explosion, heavy smoke, as you see there billowing from the top. And several witness accounts now uh, kind of siding with the CNN version yeah. of the story that it was a twin engine okay. plane. Not to say that we know for certain, we don't want to make any assumptions, especially this early on, as you take a look at it uh, along with us as we're piecing together the information for you as it's developing. Uh, we understand right now that we do have somebody joining us on the phone. Yes, yeah, so Paul Schwinger is on the phone live to tell us what he saw. Can Good morning, Paul. Good morning. Go ahead, take it away. Where were you and what did you see? Well, I was in my apartment pretty much right under the flight path of this plane in the village. And uh, I heard this really, really loud noise go by and I thought it was an Air Force jet on display. So I looked right out the window and I saw this twin engine plane fly right over my house and it was losing altitude. And uh, then I saw, the, I saw the impact and the explosion, this huge ball of flame. And uh, the plane looked either like a 737 or an Airbus. 737 or an Airbus. Okay, yeah. you know, you I understand you're an air, airplane aficionado. Yeah. Okay, what do we mean by that? Well, I couldn't really tell because by the time I looked up, I mean, I saw two engines and it was, you know, a smaller style plane. Mm -hmm. uh, but by the time I looked up, it was already right over my house and just in front of me, so I couldn't tell the difference okay. between the two. Okay. All right, 737 or an Airbus, according to Paul Schwein. Now, you heard a loud boom, you heard the boom? Yes, I heard the boom and I saw the, the, the ball of smoke go up. Um, but that was the impact with the World Trade Center. Um, I didn't hear a boom before that, I just heard very loud jet engine noise. Okay. Probably because it was so low. Right, losing altitude. And it was losing altitude at the time. Gosh. Sky's looking very clear too. And Paul, we understand that you're something of a, of a flight aficionado. Yeah. So you have some experience. Right. Uh, what what does your experience tell you may have entered into, into, into what you're looking at here with such clear skies? Possibly some form of engine failure or control failure. Do you ever see any type of air traffic in and around your area? That well, routinely, this is a routine pattern to come into LaGuardia to fly.